Right, fat fans, how are you all doing today? I'm, um, by request, I got requested to do a video about uh, Adrian Grenard fighting um, Michael Sprott on the next Saturday. So, thank you, Anders, this is for you. Uh, and as usual, I'll do this in English so my English uh, followers can, can understand what I'm saying. For alla svenskar, jag fick en förfrågan om att göra video om Adrian Granat som möter Michael Sprott. Nu nästa, nästa lördag. Um, och jag kommer göra den på engelska för att de som pratar engelska förstår. Och som följer med oss förstår också. Så nu kör vi. All right. Adrian Gunnart is now 9-0. And um, with 8 knockouts. And he's fighting uh, ex-European and Commonwealth champion Michael Sprott. Next Saturday in, in Hamburg. Um, Michael Sprott who, well last most famously got uh, destroyed by uh, Anthony Joshua uh, the English uh, English uh, heavyweight prospect and you know Michael Sprott he's, he's seen better days of course he's 42 wins 24 losses uh, but he's still you know the, he's still pretty he's still pretty tough contender because last couple of years I mean he's he hasn't been losing everything. He's been winning four, losing four, winning three, uh, losing three, you know, so on and so forth. So he's not he's not what you call a um, a pushover as well. Um, I think the guys who are handling Adrian Granat is building up pretty good. You know, they're taking him around slowly, as uh, as um, people do with with young prospects to make them you know come along good and and have a have a good curve of um, in how they evolve as fighters. Um, Adrian Grenard, you know, the guys handling, they're pretty smart because they're putting him in with ex-champions and that, of course, gives him a better brand. You know, he's be he on paper, he beats good fighters that's been in with the best of the best. Uh, you know, a little bit over the hill, but that's how it is. Uh, and, I mean, Michael Spro, he's... He, <laughs> he he can do the upset. I mean, he's he's a couple of great young prospects that he's you know unexpectedly coming and and win taking the win from. I mean, you had um, Sengis Kosh from from uh, Germany a couple of years back. You know, he was um, he, well, he was they, everyone thought he was going to lose that fight. Came in, took the win. Uh, same with Rene Detweiler, also German fighter, young unbeaten prospect. Come in and beat him, and of course, uh, 2000, the 2000 gold uh, Olympic gold medalist Aldo Harrison, who had his first loss to uh, Michael Sprott. And I mean, he had Michael Sprott down in the first round, but then he came, Michael Sprott came down and unexpectedly knocked Audley Harrison out. And to many people, he well, he ended Audley Harrison's career, and because he hasn't really been the same since then, even. Though he had, uh, you know, he has avenged his loss uh, in a in a twelve battle fair, but still, you know, he was he, he can pull out the unexpected out of his bag of tricks. Um, he, uh, you know, he's he's over forty now, and he in two thousand ten he won the prize fighter tournament, uh, defeating his old foe Matt Skelton in um, uh, on a split decision, and that was a pretty good affair. I mean, going in, having two fights, beating one of one of the top fighters um, uh, around. I mean, obviously, Matt Skelton was a little bit, <laughs> a little bit um, over the hill as well. But, you know, he's still a pretty, pretty damn good fighter. So, and, um, well, let's talk about Adrian Grenard. I mean, he's, um, this is a big guy. He's, he's uh, Six foot seven is 202 centimeters. He weighs in around 108, 109 kilos in every fight. And he's, you know, he, he looks lean with, with all that weight. He doesn't look, he doesn't look fat and he looks really well prepared in every fight he comes into. Uh, real powerhouse, you know, lean and fast. He's faster than most heavyweights I've seen, well, super heavyweights. And um, I think. Like I said in my, my last video, he will probably be a really good, 
really good and his you know his curve is only getting better as a you know as an amateur had a fantastic amateur career with um, uh, with a couple of you know Swedish championship goals um, good fighter has a really stiff uh, jab you know he can set it up uh, from from a, from a good distance and uh, you saw the fight with Danny Williams. I mean, he demolished Danny Williams within two rounds. And that was, you know, with his jab setting it up. And because he's so tall, you know, he he, um, he has really long arms. And he can really, really reach across the ring into his opponent. Um, it will be, you know, nice to see him with, with, him, with the taller fighters, how he does. Uh, I mean... Um, uh, Michael Sproul is not that tall. He's he's around well 190 uh, centimeters long, and um, uh, so it's going to be good you know, to see him how he handles bigger fighters. But I mean, in the in the amateur ranks, most guys that compete in the super heavyweight division is really tall. Uh, most of them are around you know six six five six seven. So he's used to it, and it won't be a problem. Uh, interesting fighter, you know, interesting guy anyways, Adrian, you know, he's not, not the most humble guy around, but he's a really nice guy, I've had the pleasure of interviewing him uh, at an occasion and, you know, watching one of his fights, he's um, yeah, a nice guy, you know, not nice chap and he, uh, he, he has a great confidence with him, you know, he's, he's a great presence when you, when you talk to him and when he walks around the ring. You can see that he he knows exactly how good it is and he knows exactly uh, what he can do in there so it's going to be really nice to see him evolve so um hopefully we'll see him get the win for you know it's always good when swedish fighters win on saturday i think it won't be a problem for him but you never know with michael sprock because you know michael sprock can do the unexpected and pull out a knockout you know when you when you least least see it coming so um, the only thing that, that I can be worried about but Adrian and not meeting Michael Spro is that he has a really low left when he goes forward. So if Michael Spro can counter, you know, can counter with an overhand right or something like that, you know, he has a good chance of, of clocking him with a, with a good shot. But hopefully that won't happen and I don't think it will happen because uh, Adrian is really tall and uh, he, can, he moves fast. So they'll probably be all right um thank you guys for for watching and um if you have any more requests just let me know send a send a you know post a post a comment on my blog or you know post a, a comment on uh, facebook on amateur boxing uh we'll go to amateurboxing.se uh, it's always nice to hear from from you people who follow me and your thoughts uh, and enjoy this night's nice fight between Mikhail Alren and then later on Klitschko versus Tyson Fury. That would be a cracker, I think. All right, you guys, take care of yourselves.